Hi guys, welcome back. Let me see if my microphone's on. It is. <laughs> so, welcome back to my channel. And today's I am going to show you a bunch, a bunch of $25 Sephora gift sets. And I'm super excited about this video because we got a lot of good stuff. And it's all for $25, I mean each, um, that you can choose from if you're looking for a small secret Santa or if you want to give maybe your friends a little bit of something, you know, nothing too crazy but still good products in a little value set or in a little set or on their own. I'm going to show you a bunch of them so that way you can get an idea on how big they are or how, how they look or just some of the things that I've already used so that way you can, you know, you can know what you're getting yourself into if you don't know 100%, you're ordering online, whatever it may be. I'm going to show you some products here that I'm super excited to show you because some of these are really good. And I say some of them are really good because I haven't tried them all, but, but we'll get there. First thing is this little bitty Tatcha Mist. And how cute is this? I honestly wasn't sure what size I was going to get. It's 0.4 ounces and this is the little packaging so you can kind of see it compared to my hand. But it's honestly not that bad and it's something that you can try out before buying the big one that is way more expensive. It's supposed to give you more of like a luminous glow before applying your makeup, after applying your makeup, just whenever you want or to like refresh, you can use this and it actually feels really nice. I wasn't sure what it was going to feel like. I have not opened it, taken it out of the box or anything. So it looks really, really liquidy in there. I honestly don't even know exactly what to expect. Supposedly Tatcha is a super good product for skincare and it's like pretty expensive. Like we all know that we all see it on YouTube. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to try this one and so now you know you can get this little bottle for $20 if you want to try this out before getting the big one. I honestly think this is such a nice gift. If I got this, I would feel so happy with it. Like this is so cute. Not only is it a nice glass bottle, it feels heavy, like it feels nice, like a nice little product. So this is really cute or if you're like making a little basket and you're adding a bunch of little things. This is something so good to add. So actually, let me go ahead. I didn't even like do anything with it. I just kind of showed it to you like this. So it does have this little spray there. Let me spray it. Oh. Okay, so it's a really soft mist. Uh, I wasn't sure what it was going to be like. Let me, let me spray it on me. It feels really, really lightweight. It feels nice. It's not, I don't really feel it on my face, like the big drops. I have had some sprays that you can see your see it on your makeup, but this feels so, so light, so like misty. So yeah, it has a nice little, little spray to it. So again, $20, I think it's worth it if you're interested in the big one. Not that it's worth it because it's such a good product, because I don't know. But I think it's worth to try if you're interested in the big product. I think you can get a good idea of if you would like it or not, if you try out the small product. So I think that's really cute. Okay, so the next product is something that I already showed you in my haul video, but I think it is so practical. Like it is one of the best gifts you can probably give someone who loves makeup, especially if they haven't tried a beauty blender. Make sure to tell them that they have to wet it first because some people don't know. So, and that's the way that you're gonna get the best use out of a beauty blender. So this one it comes with a soap inside, which is why I think it's like a great gift. Because one of the best ways that I have cleaned my beauty blenders is with the actual beauty blender soap. And this one comes in a little bag like this. I think this one's good because it comes with the soap, but it's also kind of fun, at least this one you can buy any other one if you want but this one comes as a surprise like you don't know what color the beauty blender is going to be unfortunately I just got the pink one but it does have a rare option that you might get green or yellow so I don't know anybody who has gotten a not pink I don't know anybody who has bought this but if you bought this and you got a different color let me know because I want to know who's getting the green one and who's getting the yellow and what is the rare one I want to know what the rare one looks like. So like I said, mine is just the pink one and the soap in here is also a pink one. This is $20 and the beauty blenders alone are already $20, but this one, it just gives you the little bonus of the soap, which the beauty blender soaps are really, really good. So I highly recommend getting or gifting a gift like this. Beauty blenders are so awesome and they're kind of pricey to be replacing all the time. So if you give it to somebody, I'm sure they'll appreciate it, especially if they already love them they know that they're like 20 bucks for a sponge, you know, but but they work. So I mean, there is that. Okay, this, I wanna show it to you ASAP because I was like, what is this? You know, I saw it online, super cute. I mean, it looks like it'll be completely worth it. It is by Drunk Elephant. 
and this one is $25 so I was so excited to try drunk elephant and I just bought their skin serum which I am wearing it today for the first time not bad but I don't know about it yet I have to keep using it so whenever I saw that there was a little gift set like this I was like okay I could try that it's $25 and I can try out some of their other products so this one is called out of the office and look at how tiny this is I wasn't sure what to expect the pictures they look awesome like they could be like a really good size but whenever I opened it which I haven't used any of these products so I don't know they are so tiny like I mean it's cute but it's just like what you know they're so little drunk elephant ooh, drunk elephant is also a product or a brand that is pretty pricey so yeah I mean I'm gonna try them out anyways we will see what happens let me know if you've tried any of these three products this one includes a lippy balm let's see how how it smells why am I dropping everything so let me see it doesn't smell like anything it says it's a lip and eye balm so I don't know okay it seems pretty soft kind of like a regular lip balm um, I was gonna say lip chopstick <laughs> but kind of like a regular lip balm so there's that doesn't smell like anything like anything at all I thought it was gonna be a little bit citrusy or something which would have been nice maybe like orange or something I don't know okay this one is the D bronzy anti-pollution sunshine serum and this one's supposed to give you kind of like a glow to your skin so I have no idea I've never tried any of these products or even swatched them at the store this one is brown so we are both looking at this at the same time the only thing I had something to say or the only thing I had something to say about was the size of the products which I guess they're not bad to try out they were just so cute and tiny I was like what did I buy so this is the way that this looks um, I'm not sure how it's supposed to set or dry or anything but if you want to try drunk elephant there you go now you know the sizes of what you'll get and then this one is the virgin luxury facial oil and let me pump this out so it's pretty liquidy feels really soft so I do want to apply this one at night which is why I wanted to get this one I wasn't too sure about the bronzy one but for sure the lip balm like you can't go wrong it's just a lip balm but the the, the oil is the one that I really want to try to see if it'll be like really good for my dry skin and stuff so if you have tried the oil and you do like it let me know what you think about it so again this is $25 you get these three little products in here they're just a tiny cute tiny little products right in here so yeah i mean even though so was i i was like what did i buy because they look so tiny i still think they have plenty of product for you to try it out and that's the main thing it's not like you're gonna get such big products for like a small price because the reality is that those products are pretty pricey in full size so yes if you want to try them out or like i said give them as a gift so other products that i have already tried are from this little gift set right here this is also by tatcha and this comes with the deep cleanser as well as the moisturizer you guys this is such a good deal to try out I thought I thought I was gonna say I thought and I felt and I felt like you know how am I really gonna try a cleanser it looks so tiny like it really does look tiny but it's a, it's a little bit bigger than the other product um how am I gonna try it you know this one is 1.7 fluid ounces and you do not need that much product like barely any a little bit goes a long way like you don't need it to squeeze any more out like once you pump it out that's all you need it's not a pump it's just like you kind of squeeze it out of the little hole still have a ton of product left all you need is a little bit and the only thing that I will tell you for sure is that it makes your skin feel super clean like that squeaky feel type of clean which is something that I do not like but once you apply the moisturizer on top it feels totally different this moisturizer is like let me show you this or try to show you this this has little little scrubs in it and even some like l bigger flake scrubs in it that that kind of dissolve as you use it oh I applied way too much you see this right here is already plenty like you can really use that all over your face you just damp your face a little bit with water apply this on top and trust me this is enough product to clean your entire face whenever I first used it I was like this is like maybe too much for for my skin because again I have dry skin once I applied the moisturizer it made my skin feel so so moisturized so yes this deep cleans it cleanses it or cleans it this deep cleans it 
that's not how you say it, right? You do yes, this cleans it deeply. <laughs> I couldn't figure out how to say it, so we just switch it. So that did really clean it. So then once I applied this on top, it really made it feel super extra moisturized. And this is kind of weird, the way that it feels. Let me show it to you. It's so cute. It's also like just like a nice little, little container. This one is... 0.34 ounces and it doesn't have that much product but again you do not need a lot of it trust me you you can tell once you put it on I, I wish I could just show you because you don't need that much product but let me go ahead and take some out because scooping it out is going to take half of my product out no I'm just kidding it does have enough product for you to use and it feels watery whenever you apply it it feels like it melts real quick kind of like very very watery like and then it sinks into your skin and that's it it's like it makes your skin look really glowy but it's not sitting on top it doesn't feel waxy it doesn't feel oily nothing like that it just goes straight straight into your skin and then you have like a glowy face like kind of shiny it looks like your face is oily but whenever you touch it it's not now even though i have been using it a lot and i do have dry skin i don't see anything bad with my skin like it's like it's flaking like it's extra dry just because it cleans it out so much i don't feel like anything's wrong with my skin or that it affected me in any way okay so this next product i think it's a really really cool gift set I would love to get it and I would love to gift it like I think it's so cool it is a face mask kit and it comes with six different face masks from the Sephora brand they, they're all different they're not like double of anything the first one which is this one right here in the front that one is a coconut mask and it is for nourishing and soothing then you get the pearl one to make your face brighter or for brightening um, the green tea face mask mask says it's for mattifying and anti blemish I don't know if I'll be using that one because I don't like using things that my face that I don't feel like my face needs. Like if something like just like that, like the green tea mask, it says anti-blemish. I don't want to put something on my skin to fight something that it doesn't have, and then I'll lose what my skin naturally produces. I don't know, it was just does that probably just in my mind? I don't know, but I just don't like to use things like that, so probably that one I won't be using it. But then you also have the rose mask, which is ultra moisturizing and brightening. Moisturizing, that's what I need. The aloe vera is for quenching and replenishing. I don't know exactly what that means, but okay, instantly hydrates and refreshes the skin, gives skin a plump appearance for skin that is full of moisture and supple. Okay, so yeah, that's me too. And then the pineapple one is pore perfecting and soothing. I think if you love makeup, you love makeup products, you might not love skincare products, but you may every now and then wear a mask. And I think this is such a good, good deal. You get six, six different masks that you can try out. And then later on, you can buy more of them because they do sell them individually at Sephora. But I just think this is such a good gift set. I would love to get it and I would love to gift it. Like, it's so cool. And then this other one that I am loving is the skin, the skin, the hair favorites. And, or it's not called hair favorites. No, it's called the Sephora favorites best hair ever. And I say I love them not because I've used every single product, but because the products that I have used, I feel like I am getting my money's worth 100%. And I have these two out because these are the ones that I have used already, which is just two. But it does come with more products. I'll show them to you in a little bit. This one is the Living Proof Hair Perfect Hair Day. I have been applying this one before I blow dry my hair. You only need a tiny bit because you don't want your hair to get too heavy. Heavy. I made the mistake of applying this one after I curled my hair once and it did make it a little heavy I was I was like what did I do and then I read it because I know one of them is for after after you're done I think it gives you a little bit of shine or something I don't know which one it is but this one was not the one but anyways um, you have to apply it before you blow dry your hair then blow dry it out which I do all the time whenever I do my hair like this because if I try to wave my hair with my natural hair it'll it don't look it won't look like the messy wave it'll look like extra curly because my hair will hold a curl and that's not the look that I'm going for so I like to blow dry it first and then and I blow dry it with the blow dryer brush so that's whenever I use this one and then this one is a deep mask and this one you can either use it on its own like before you take a shower what I did though is because this is another way that you can use it is 
get in the shower and then put it on and I do have a plastic cap in the shower or I'll take it in there with me if I don't have it in there but I'll just leave it in my hair for about two to three minutes and that's also been been helping me now the reason why I haven't tried other ones is because I also mixed in the Olaplex one day out of that week and I'm not gonna be like doing masks every single time I wash my hair my hair has been feeling so much better like it has improved so much from the way that it used to be and yeah so getting to try new products is not only fun but I'm actually getting my hair to a better state which is the main reason why I'm trying these right here and I also mixed in the Olaplex which is why I haven't used other hair, hair masks in here because there are other hair masks which I'm excited to get to those so yes this one has been a good one I liked it it's by the brand Briogeo I think that's how you say it but I mean the way I say it sounds pretty fancy so I'm gonna keep saying it that way so it does come with a shampoo cream it also comes with this spray this is more like I feel like it's more like that salt that sea salt type of spray but it's not like it's not that but it seems like it It just makes your hair very textury and kind of sticky so yeah I already have one which is why I haven't used this one because I already have one open it also comes with another treatment that you can apply before blow drying then it comes with the IGK mistress hair balm you also get another hair mask this one is by amica and then this one i also have an open because i already have one of these this is the moroccan oil and i love this stuff even though it's like tiny this will last you forever you only need one little drop of the moroccan oil and you're good like you do not need a lot of product of that one so yes this has been one of my favorite products that i have got from the gift sets just because i am on a better hair journey you know so maybe that's not for everybody but if you know someone who is and you you know you know that they're trying different things i think this is so cool to give different hair masks in here different ways to try to make your hair look better or feel better or whatever so yes 25 dollars for this little kit i think is completely worth it i have the sun on one side of my body so these are the shimmering liquid eyeshadows and these are $25 it's a set of three and today I'm trying out one of them the one in the color kitten and that one has more of a pink tone to it you also get twig which is a brown one and then cloud which is purpley a, a little bit more purpley I got these during the VIB sale and this one is the purple one just so you can kind of get an idea I cannot tell you a lot of information from these because I've only used one the ones that I've tried before have glitter in it and these don't these are not like the glittery eyeshadows these are shimmers and like I said I'm wearing one today which is kitten it's this pinky one very very pretty it's the one that I have on the center of my eye and so far it's looking good now it is creasing just a tiny bit on this side where I have like my wrinkle like from my my hood eye you know looking up it kind of creased a little bit I don't know if it was because I needed more product because this one's not doing it or if I looked up or I'm not sure what happened but I'm gonna continue to try these because I'm also gonna try the other two colors and then this one I'm really excited to try this one's called twig and this one is a dark brown which I think is beautiful just watching it. it just looks so beautiful and yeah the application was really easy the applicator is a little bit chunky but what I did is I applied it with a flat brush and that made it a lot easier like first I tried to directly apply it and then it was a little bit I could see that I was gonna get a little too messy so then I went in with the brush and it did much much better so this is liquid eyeshadows and we're gonna move on to the palette which is a tiny little palette by natasha denona this is also eyeshadows and this one alone costs 25 dollars but just keep in mind that her more expensive ones cost 130 dollars so like this you get to at least try out her eyeshadows and this is the natasha denona mini star palette i think it has such cute shades i do have the eye swatches right here if you want to check them out individually the way that i use them packed on blended out wet and dry so that way you can see all the shades but yes this is a small little eyeshadow palette so I'll go ahead and I'll, and I'll swatch it for you so that way you can get an idea on what you'll get so this is the green one which actually doesn't even look that green it looks more like a pink because it has that that different tone to it depending on where it hits the light then it has a light brown the shimmery one the dark brown and the last one which is like a gold 
uh, very pretty shades. I really like the way that they looked. I think it's a good deal, and I also think that it's a way to try Natasha Denona. Now, I don't know 100%. Now, I don't know if it's the exact same, exact, exact same formula as the big one, but I do know that the quality of these little ones are really good. Like, they weren't hard to blend out. The shimmers show up. Like, it's really cute. As long as you like the color combination, I think you'll, you'll feel like this is worth it. So I think if you want to give it for a gift, it's really cute, and if you want to try it out for yourself, this is something that I have tried and I can tell you that I feel like you know it's worth the $25 to try out so yes here are the other eyeshadows and then I have some lip products this one is the Anastasia lip gloss set I'm not wearing one of these today the one that I'm wearing right now is the light pink one and it comes with four the light pink one is called pearl and it's the first time that I use it, but it's so pretty. The only thing is, is that I have to tap it on because the shade is pretty opaque. Like, you can really see the light pink. So I just tapped it on because it kind of washed out my lips a little bit because of the tone. So, yes, but it is very pretty. I like the way that it looks. It, I w it went really good with today's look. It makes me look extra glowy. I don't really wear lip glosses, so it's different for me. But I think it went with the look so, so good. This one, I'm also excited to try. Well, all, all of them because they all look really pretty pretty this one is the well there they go well it took them all out for me <laughs> this one is the pink one and this one i'm excited to try it i feel like it'll make my lips look kind of like if i if i tap it on i feel like it'll make them look kind of like plumpy because it's a light pink and it'll look just i don't know kind of like juicy lips or something this one is a light pink shade looks very pretty and even though it's a lip gloss i don't feel like it's like super extremely sticky or anything i'm not a huge fan of lip glosses so i was a little bit iffy like i've never tried anastasia lip glosses before i've actually never tried her liquid lipsticks either but um so yeah that's why i don't really wear lip gloss all the time but this is not bad like just the way that it looks the way that it feels i'm totally okay with it this one is the gold one which looks really pretty like super pretty look at that swatch it just looks so so nice it kind of has like a little bit of a a green hint to it oh my god i can't wait to wear this one i'm excited for that one i think maybe with like a pretty brown look that would look nice or like a really golden look and look all glowy and bronzy and then this last one is oh no that's the one i already swatched this last one is white or it's a little bit more white this one is called diamond and let me swatch it right there next to the gold one so yeah this one looks like it's also going to look a little bit opaque kind of like the first one that i showed you so i would probably just tap it on because i wouldn't want my lips to look white but yes also looks very very pretty so i've only tried one which is the one that i'm wearing right now so i think this makes for another cute little gift set this is 25 dollars, and you get to try out four different colors so yes i think that's super cute and then the last one is by huda beauty and this one is her lip kit it comes with a liquid lipstick which i've already tried out also a lipstick and a lip gloss i'm pretty sure i have footage of it which look did i do with it i did a look with it i didn't like the combination because the, the eye look did not go with the lip look at all um but the lips were fine it's just not with that look that i was wearing so let me go ahead and swatch it for you the lipstick is called heartbreaker and i had never tried who does lipsticks before but it is so intense and super even on the lips so the formula seems nice i didn't wear it for that long that day because i did apply lipstick and then i took it off and i applied something else yeah i'm pretty sure that day i didn't keep it on because it didn't go with the look at all and then it comes with the lip liner and this one is called heartbreaker which is just a matching shade for the lipstick which worked out fine for me oh so yeah i mean it's just a regular lip liner but it does apply smoothly and evenly i didn't, it didn't i didn't feel like it tugged on my lip or anything and then lastly it comes with a very pretty lip gloss again trying out another lip gloss but this one has a different tone to it this is like golden red really pretty like golden pink it looks really nice on my lips it wasn't that great but maybe it was just the look that i was wearing it with but overall the lip gloss alone if you like the tone i think it looks nice i do feel like it's a nice little set it is also 25 dollars, and i think 
oh i think as a gift it would be nice or if you want to try out huda beauty which me i had never tried huda beauty lip products i think it's a really cute set to try out so yes you guys these are all the products i wanted to share with you today so yeah i was pretty excited to show it to you because it was like a variety of different things skincare hair stuff makeup eyeshadow lipstick you know it was just all these different things what else the beauty blender i mean it was just a variety of different things all for $25 each so if you are interested in buying gifts and you kind of wanted to know an idea on what Sephora has these are some of the gifts you can look it up on the Sephora website or on the app and then there'll be a little tab that says gifts and like this you kind of know like the size of them what they kind of are just little mini mini insight on the gift sets so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video let me know if you're trying any of these or if you're already christmas shopping for other people and you're gonna pick something like this up or if i helped you decide no i'm not gonna get that it's too small or i'm not gonna get that it doesn't seem worth it to me let me know in the comment section below thank you all so much for watching another one of my videos and i will see you in my next one bye